In Folkestone town, a widow lived who kept a little farm. She tended sheep and pigs and cows, and saw they took no harm. Of all her goodly creatures, though, the favorite in her care was a fine young cock with a yellow comb called Master Chanticleer. With a hay and a hoe and a hay naughty nose was Master Chanticleer. Now Chanticleer had such a voice the widow loved to hear. He crowed at dawn and sang at noon and brought the widow cheer. He sang to please the milking maid and while the men cut hay. But he sang most sweet for a small white hen pot let his lady gay. With a hay and a ho and a hay naughty no heart let his lady gay. One day there crept into the yard a fox from out his den. He cast his eye on every and every fat white hen. But all that he could fix upon to make his dinner sweet was the fine young cock with a yellow comb poor Chanticleer to eat. With a hay and a ho and a hay nanny no poor Chanticleer to eat. My fine young cock, the fox began, pray let me hear your song. Your fame has spread both far and wide and I have traveled long. Will you oblige? I must admire the cunning vixen lied. Oh, I shall, I shall, with a right good will, the silly bird replied. With a hey and a ho and a hey, now you know, the silly bird replied. So Chanticleer, as was his wont, stood well upon his toes. And as he leaned his head full back, his eyes began to close. And when the fox was certain that the bird was unaware, then he stacked his jaws round the golden throat of Master Chanticleer. With a hey and a ho and a hey naughty no of Master Chanticleer. Partlet, who saw the whole affair, was quick to raise alarm. And soon a shout was heard in every corner of the farm. The widow and the milking maid and every serving man Gathered up a thorn for a broom or brand, after him they ran. With a hey and a ho and a hey, now we know, after him they ran. You know they cannot catch you, to the fox said Chanticleer. You ought to laugh and shout with scorn and victory declare. What fun is it to best them all unless you tell them so? Oh, shall I shall, with a right good will, the fox began to crow. With a hay and a ho and a hay, now you know, the fox began to crow. You surely know what happened next. The fox drew breath to shout. And when his jaws were open, Sean Clare flew quickly out. Come back, come back, the vixen cried. You haven't sung for me. You may catch me yet, said the wiser bird, but not with flattery. <laughs> with a hey and a ho and a hey, no, 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 not with flattery. So where are ye who sing your songs and know your voice is fair? Remember well the story of the hapless Chanticleer. Your dulcet tones may win you praise and bring you honors, but it is wise to know when to open your mouth and when to keep it shut. <laughs> With a hey and a ho and a hey, naughty no, no, when to keep it shut. <laughs>